Sing it. Sing it. I love that song. I can't be singing rebel songs in a house in grief and mourning. Sing it to me softly. It breaks my heart. Don't look at him. He's English. Don't block his ears. Darling, should she sing her rebel IRA song while we wait? Or would that be appropriate? You know, I went to a meeting of similar intent to this in Berlin, attended by the Chancellor himself, and Goring, and Himmler. It lasted until the sun came up. We spoke about the future of the world in a serious way. When the first rays of light entered the room, we all stood and stared at it as if it were the world to come. There was no singing, no giggling, And when breakfast was served on the terrace overlooking the mountains, they brought up some Jews. And while we ate our eggs, they were forced to eat grass. And we watched as we sipped our coffee. We should all remember this is serious business. Let's sing a fucking song to raise our spirits. Come on, please. In a neat little town they called Belfast, apprentice to trade I was bound. And many's an hour sweet happiness have I spent in that neat little town. A sad misfortune came over me Her eyes, they shone like diamonds I thought her the queen. Mr. Shelby. No, please. No condolences. Thank you all for coming. Now, let's try and find out how this new world of ours will look, shall we? Perhaps, Mr. Mosley, we can turn to what practical things Mr. Nelson can do to further our cause while he is in the country. It's me who has the year of the President of the United States. Which is kind of why I'm here, right? We do indeed have things for you to whisper into the president's ear. Tell him we are England. We are the mood England is in. And in Ireland, appeasers to the English abound. But we represent the true liberated spirit of the country that populated your own. I hear about communists in both places. We are the bulwark against them. When it comes to the working class, we could move our people from republicanism to fascism with just a nudge. They trust us. You ride with hounds, Mr. Mosley. Will you hunt communists? Oh, my hounds obey. Shelby, you run as a socialist. Mr. Shelby has one of the largest commons majorities in England, in the heart of England. When the time comes, he'll resign his party whip and run as an independent. But underneath, do you truly believe in the cause, Mr. Shelby? Mr. Nelson, I'm here for night. Four nights after, and I'm here. 
in this room and this meeting. I'm here and I'm serious. Prove it to him. Prove it, physically. Paris Judah. Paris Judah. Mr. Nelson, you can report back to your president that the aristocracy and the meritocracy are united in their conviction that a new order is coming. Also, Mr. Nelson, at present, our weapons are coming from Germany. The British are closing our supply lines down. We would value a supply from Boston. Weapons I can give you if they're to be used in a good cause and while on the subject of import and export. Mr. Shelby, in light of our new relationship and since you have proven your commitment in a most extraordinary way, Boston is now officially open for the importation of your merchandise. what we came here to establish. Perhaps we should all say goodnight. Absolutely. 